Do people still follow this stock? Is anyone still talking about this stock? Today we're talking about AMC. Look at the chart once again, man. This thing is playing out exactly, exactly like I've been talking about for the past few weeks. Breaking it down right here in this video. So make sure you stay tuned. AMC, what is going on? Today we're taking a look at AMC chart once again and talking about how, well, it's doing exactly what I said it would do. Chart, we're looking at the daily chart for AMC. You can see back there in June had a high up there at the $70 level. This yellow line right here, this downward trend has been consistent ever since. You can see we had a lower high there, lower high, had a little bit of a higher, you know, still lower high. AMC has not broken out of this downward trend that it's been in pretty much since June. You know, there's been some bounces on the way down, but in general, that overall idea of AMC going lower continues to pretty much be the story that everyone's talking about, especially me. Well, maybe not everyone's talking about it. There's a lot of YouTubers out there that talk about AMC going to the moon every other day, but hey, Someone's got to be realistic. Somebody has to be realistic here. I know people are going to comment down below how I'm a troll, or I'm a FUD, and all that. But if you go back and you look at every single video that I've made talking about AMC and the idea of AMC going lower, well, here we are. I don't really know what else to say. It's December. Is it December? It's November 30th, and, well, AMC is now touching down there to the $33 level. And look at how beautifully this line – I mean – I literally drew this whole entire chart. So let's talk about it right now. What is going on? If you look here on the hourly chart, AMC today, literally free falling now from the 37 level down there to 33. I would expect some type of bounce. You know, we might get a bounce off of this level here, kind of push back up, get people to get kind of get excited, a little bit of FOMO action, get back in there. But that overall downward trend is staying consistent here. And I do believe that this is going to want to break through that support there at the $34 level. And I know people are going to comment down below, like every time you talk about it going lower, it goes higher. And there's still that possibility, obviously, that this does, you know, bounce off of this point and we get some FOMO and people try to buy back in because they think it's going to be the MOAS. Like the MOAS is going to happen any day after this bounce here. And that's the great thing about trading. You know, there's obviously the volatility, the ups, the downs. But when we look at the bigger picture, the bigger picture stays the same. And well, that $16 level is still down there lurking and waiting and watching and ready for AMC to pull back to it. And now I want to talk about kind of my reasoning to why I believe this is happening. You know, you're really kind of getting this overall price action where people kind of are chasing this. You know, they want to buy into it. They, every time we get these dips, we get people that are scared that end up getting out. And then we get these rips back and then people end up buying back in because they're like, oh my gosh, it's going to go higher now. So Everybody who sells on these downward moves ends up getting FOMO, buying back in on the pump back up, and then they sell for the down crash again. You have a lot of retail traders that are trying to trade this, maybe swing trading it, trying to buy the dip, trying to sell the rip, things like that. So you're having this kind of battle between all these different people that, number one, believe they're going to hold forever. And then you get the battle of people who, who just cannot hold forever. Because if you buy a stock and the stock then goes down 20 30%, there comes a point where you're finally just like mentally, physically, and you know, emotionally, you're just like, okay, I can't hold this any longer. Even though you believe that AMC is going to the moon, it gets to a point where you're like, I'm down, you know, two thousand, three thousand, five thousand dollars, and I've only got so much money left, and I've got to pay my bills, and I've got to worry about the future, and I need money, right? Everyone has that need. Everyone needs money at a certain point. So the idea that people are just going to hold AMC stock forever, I just don't believe that. I believe that at the end of the day, there will be people who will hold, you know for it to go back down to the $10 level or whatever it is in the future. But there will be people who are going to sell. So every time we break through these levels of support, you're going to get more panic selling, more panic selling. And then you, it's going to just become a waterfall in terms of people just selling, selling, selling. Now, obviously, I see, and it's, <clears throat> and it's funny because I see people talking about how they are going to buy AMC. Like, I, oh, I'll, I'll buy more AMC if it goes to 16. And that's totally fine. But if you really believe in AMC going higher in the future, then why not just buy now? You know, if you think that AMC is going to be 100 or 200, 300 dollars in the future, why not just buy it at 33? Why are you waiting for the 16 dollar pullback so then you can buy? And I just don't, you know, I don't see the reasoning there. If you're really a diehard here for AMC, well, then you know you should 
probably be buying at any point, right? If you have extra money laying around, why would you not be buying at 33? Why would you wait for 16? It's just the way I look at it, you know? This whole idea that there's a million people waiting to buy the dip on AMC, I just don't believe it. And I don't think it's real. I think it's a, you know, a myth. It's not, not actual facts. <laughs> and now I'm, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and prephrase this. And like I said, I'm going to go ahead and say that today AMC is down about 7%, almost 8% on the day. There's a very good possibility that there's probably going to be a bounce off of this area here. Just that, you know, we've bounced there. This is what, one, two, three. If we don't get about what four, you know, in that area, so there's a lot of kind of so there's a lot of support here in this level between 30 to 32 dollars. So I'm expecting some type of bounce. You know, there could be a nice little rip back up here. So if you are trying to buy the dip, there could be opportunity to do that. But in general, like I said, the overall bigger picture remains the same for AMC. And well, here it is at 33.85. I've been talking about AMC since here, since here, since here, since pretty much this entire move talking about how I believed AMC would go lower in the future. And it's not to just toot my own horn, but everybody who's been arguing with me and saying that, oh, hey, has no idea what we're talking about. It's it's not rocket science to see what is happening here. And I do believe there's a lot of manipulation in the sense that, you know, you get these pops and then people, you get pops, people FOMO into it. Big money is able to sell into those pops, short more, sell more option contracts. You can see the options market is just insane in terms of volume throughout this move. But AMC now down there below $34 today. The overall market also dipping today. So I will say, yes, there's an overall market pullback here. But we saw yesterday when the news came out about the new variant not being as deadly or not as dangerous as people thought. Well, AMC did not go up on that news. So I keep making these videos because I think it's a very... I keep making these videos because I think there's like a relevant story here to talk about the idea of you know, people of emotion, of humans, the aspect, the human aspect of trading and investing here. And you can see pretty clearly the overall picture, the overall story for AMC, you know, these big rips back up, people are FOMOing, FOMOing, FOMOing up here. And then the big crash, people are then panic selling. Oh my gosh, you know, we bounce there. People are trying to buy FOMO into it. We panic sell, we buy back into it. We panic sell, we buy back into it. We panic sell. And that's the human interaction with the stock, the overall idea that there's a million billion people out there and that the AMC holders are the ones who hold the stock that are that are never selling. They control the float. Well, clearly, it's not that simple, is it? So today, AMC down about 7% on the day. Like I said, there's a pretty good chance that there's going to be a bounce off of this $34 level, $32 to $34 level after we've bounced there kind of multiple times over the last few months. But in general, we continue to go lower here on AMC. I don't know about you guys, but I like to buy low, sell high. That's kind of the overall idea that I have when it comes to investing. So that's the story on AMC today. If you guys haven't already, do me one big favor. Hit that like button and the subscribe button. I'll talk to you guys later on.